is there something that um, our dog owners at home could do today to actually start getting their, their dogs on the right track, whether it's, you know, you're talking about herbs before, maybe it's a herb that would be really great to mm. add into their food or uh, changing their nutrition or lifestyle. Is there anything that you recommend, like an actionable step that we can get started with today? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think more than steps, it's more just being aware what you're actually giving your dog every day, the type of lifestyle they have. So um, I guess that's one of the things is just, you know, is your dog stiff to get up in the morning? I think recognizing the signs that are slowly, um, that are kind of slow degenerations in our pets. So I think a lot of owners, you know, they go into old age, your pets go into old age and owners like, oh, well, their metabolism slowing down. They're not eating enough. You know, like they just eat less or, um, oh, he's, he's just not as active because he's, you know, he's older. And so I think, especially with older patients, it's so important as an owner to, to realize, you know, when I'm old, when I'm 80 or 90, I don't want to be, oh, I'm old, I'm slowing down, it's normal. It's like, no, I want to still be the fittest that I could be at that age. And so I think the same for our pets is um, those little signs, the little changes that your pets make. Uh, one, believe it, you're the owner and it may not always be obvious to the vet. And I see that there's plenty of patients that, you know, come to me and I'm like, I don't see anything wrong with, you know, a Bobby. You're like, you know, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with him or I don't know what's going on with her, why she's not eating enough. But if you believe that there's a problem, then I believe it as a vet because, you know, you're the one that is with the dog all day. And so I think that's the first thing is like, if you do believe there's a problem, then believe that and worst case your dog's fine and that's even better <laughs> um so I think that's one piece of advice I'd say is don't second guess yourself when it comes to wondering if your pet's in pain or feeling ill and the second thing is um any degeneration anything that's a little less than normal for your dog is not normal so that shouldn't be normal you know and unless you, your your dog has been diagnosed with a certain condition where it's gonna create this extended you know, change with its lifestyle, assume that whatever change is done, that's not normal for him. And that's not the best quality of life. And so I think if a lot of owners realize that we'd be able to diagnose things a lot sooner, help patients a lot quicker and help them really stay healthy for a long time, as well as receive a better quality of life in the long run. So.